4th of July is in less than a week and it is going to be a busy, busy time for our firefighters as they look out for illegal fireworks. They're gonna be out on patrol looking for those illegal fireworks. And here to talk more about that is we've got Captain Andrew Freeborn with Kern County Fire Department. Good morning, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, so this is something that obviously is a big deal in Kern County every single year. We've talked about how it is, it's, it, the problem has grown, especially over the last several years. We're talking about illegal fireworks. Obviously, we know they're it, they're illegal. Why is it so important, though, for people to be on the lookout in their neighborhoods for those illegal fireworks? Well, with illegal fireworks, they're very different than a safe and sane firework, and that is that they're dangerous. And so we don't want to see individuals getting hurt, and we don't want to see fires started because of illegal firework use. So if individuals observe, whether it's the sale, the use, or storage of illegal fireworks, no matter where they're at in Kern County, then go to kerncountyfire.org and use the illegal firework reporter. What is the difference between a safe and sane and an illegal firework? It is how the firework actually works, okay? okay? And so a typical rule of thumb is I've had people, individuals ask me, how do I know that's an illegal firework? Right. Well, a really good uh, rule of thumb is, is it flying through the air or is it going boom? All right, those are two characteristics of illegal fireworks. Obviously, you guys are going to be out on patrol, um, making sure and citing people who are using illegal fireworks. Mm -hmm. I know that you always have a push, though. You, you kind of have to rely on the community to step up and let them know, let you know where these illegal fireworks are taking place. Yeah, we have to we have to ask the community to not participate in right. this, right? And then we have to receive that information so that we can go out and find these individuals and go ahead and cite them. They start at fifteen hundred dollars, but each citation that occurs after that goes up. I've to 2,500. I've been out with you guys in years past, looking and, and kind of on a ride along, and I know I mean, you are out, and you are out all over the community looking for these uh, fireworks. And I know a lot of people think they can get away with it, and then you are out there uh, citing people. Also, want to talk about what's coming up this weekend. Obviously, it's the Fourth of July, but we're also talking about the first heat wave of the year in Kern County. And you know, we had a record year of rain and snow in our community, which was great. So much greenery on our on our mountains now starting to dry up. The green hills are now the golden hills, and it's been kind of a quiet fire season, at least as of now. What are you looking at long term, though, as we go through the rest of the summer months? Yeah. So when we look at California as a whole. As of right now, we haven't seen those very large destructive fires right. that we have seen in the years past at this time of the year. But here locally in Kern County, we've already responded to, to many, many grass fires. When you have a very rainy season, you have a high production of grass crop throughout the county. Right. And then that just dries off in a matter of days or weeks. And so right now we have actually a scenario in, in which it was good for forests to receive all that extra water and snow, right? But now all of the grasses are gonna dry. We're gonna have a lot of susceptible areas to wildfire this year. All right, defensible space, of course. Yes, so important. Yes, yeah. that's something that individuals need to work on maintaining year round. Yeah, all right, Andrew Freeborn, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it, it's something we need to remind ourselves, especially as we get ready for this heat wave and the July 4th holiday.